So, I don't know if you know this, but there was some pretty big news this week that I, I think everyone is excited about, and I keep getting asked how I feel about it. So here we go. Yesterday, at Gamescon, there was a big announcement. We got our first look at Minecraft RTX ray tracing. It looks amazing. Look at the dog. Oh, look at the diamond. The, the super shiny. <gasps> look at that lava glow. Mate, it was the best announcement ever. Oh yeah, they're doing another KSP or whatever. Oh shit, boys! Here we go. They've added into Stellar Travel. Oh my god, is that an Orion Drive? That's an Orion Drive, which is a spacecraft powered by nuclear explosions. Oh my goodness, you can call it Project Deedless. There's a Saturn V Heavy with side boosters. Is that Juna? Why is the day and night line horizontal? Oh wait, they've added rover wheels that don't suck. Maybe, hopefully. Yo, dude, those, bio those are biodomes, like the ones I used to put in Minecraft. <gasps> There's multiplayer support. And we mods too. <gasps> gonna be a masterpiece okay but actually <laughs> I don't know really what there is to say about this game there hasn't already hasn't already been said by a lot of other people but I've had DMs and there's a reddit thread asking me to react do an epic reaction to the trailer but uh, I guess there's not really much to react to I mean it's not gameplay footage the graphics look incredible but it's a cinematic trailer. We do have to kind of manage our expectations a bit about what the graphics are going to be like. I guess one of the things people are worried about is the fact that this isn't made by Squad. Uh, it seems to have been passed over to a new place called Star Theory. Uh, in the trailer, there's no mention of Squad whatsoever, just Private Division, which is basically Take Two. <laughs> and uh, Star Theory, no mention of Squad. And people are concerned that Squad aren't developing it. But the thing is, Squad, ha the Squad that made Kerbal Space Program hasn't actually existed for quite some time. The original, original development team that made the original Kerbal Space Program, they left and moved to Valve a while ago. So the squad we have now isn't the squad that made Kerbal Space Program. They're just like the people that kind of took over and maintained things and developed the DLC. So I don't really have an issue with it being a new studio necessarily, as long as you know they're passionate and know what they're doing and understand what made Kerbal Space Program so beautiful. And I think they do. Have you seen the developer diary? They clearly are passionate about KSP. They bought Matt Lau merch. So you know they're pretty smart. I think the thing I'm the most cautious of really is the fact that it's Take-Two Interactive publishing this. I know it's technically Private Division, which is their indie division, hence Private Division, but it's still Take-Two that owns everything. And they have gone on record in the past saying that they plan on making all of their games live surface models. And by that I mean games that require recurrent user spending in the form of microtransactions and loot crates. I actually put this in YouTube on the comments of the trailer or something uh, saying, please let there be no microtransactions. And they did reply saying that there will be no, the, the wording was very tactful. They said no in-game currency and no loot crates. So good, no loot crates, no loot boxes, and there's no in-game currency, which generally means you would think would imply no microtransactions. But they didn't say no microtransactions. They said no in-game currency. I'm going to remain cautiously optimistic because it's private division, not actually Take-Two. And Take-Two have made games with no, no microtransactions in them since making that announcement. But KSP 2s are going to be a pretty big game. I know it might seem niche and nerdy to us because it kind of is. But like the trailer for KSP 2 is currently at the top or near the top of Reddit videos which is very rare that game trailers make it onto video, as much less Kerbal Space Program getting all the way to near the top. So it looks like it's going to be a pretty big game. You know, I think Scott Manley's trailer reaction, which I thought about, I thought about avoiding because I didn't want to just end up rehashing what other people have said, but I thought, no, I should probably mention it in case he picks up on some curious detail that didn't cross my mind, but he didn't, so um, we'll move on. I mean, if you want, I guess if you want a shot-for-shot -shot breakdown of what the trailer has, then just watch Scott Manley's because he's an, ast an astrophysicist and I'm some guy. I mean, I have a degree in science, but it's uh, medical science, not physics science. So there were there were no eyes. There were no eyes. 
uh, star citizen, no, star theory. If you are planning on inserting some accurate human eyeballs into the game and would like to know about some retinal diseases, strabismus, I'm your guy, but maybe not for anything else. <laughs> So yeah, I'm pretty excited about KSP2. One of the things I'm really looking forward to is the fact that it supports multiple star systems, because I think the real thing that holds Kerbal Space Program OG back is it's the way it's built. It physically can't support things like multiple star systems or advanced colony building because of the way it's physics and it's in, like the construction building works. I probably should have scripted this, but I hope you see my point. If we are to get overhaul the underlying code, make a game that can support interstellar travel and can support, you know, complicated structures that aren't just going to fall apart <laughs> to the Kraken, then I'm all up for it. I'll be support of that because anything that's not good, mods will just come into. So as long as it's a good game and provides a good platform for mods, and they said they're going to support mods, then I think we've got nothing to worry about, really. And like I say, the developers seem to, do, they seem to know what they're doing. They've got good consultants on board. Should be a good game. But I don't really have much else to say. I try not to get too hyped about games. The last time I got hyped for a game was Planet Coaster. And, you know, that did turn out to be pretty good. So maybe I should get hyped for this. I like to remain... I like to have a healthy dose of cautious optimism when getting excited for video games. I very rarely want to get too excited because then you don't get too let down. Especially at the hands of AAA publishers, which Take Two Interactive is. So I wish uh, Star Theory... I nearly said Star Citizen again. The best of luck going forward. I hope they make Cobble Space Program the best sequel it can be and i will look forward to seeing some gameplay when it comes out um if you'd like to send me a free copy of the alpha then please do and i promise you that i'll procrastinate for five weeks and then throw something together in the last 12 hours before the embargo lifts so you know hook me up and thank you for watching this non-video with no meaningful content in it Bye! I'm just gonna put some, an end screen here. So there's a video, and a video, and a subscribe, oh, no, subscribe, and a Patreon. It's really hot in this room. I keep having to wipe my brow with my beer towel.